Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 7 of Music Wars Empire. So I've been a little busy, we're at the end of 2020, so let's catch up on where our bands are, and then we will go through what we've been doing. So here's your overview of Heart. Uh, they have a B- minus ability. Uh, here is their popularity after their U.S. tour. They've gotten up to an E-. minus. So uh, moving up a little bit, uh, songs, uh, there's all their songs that they've got. Uh, and then, you, you know, this is actually kind of cool. So gives topics and release dates and everything else. Uh, who the songwriter is, featuring, just different stuff. Uh, skills and attributes, contract. So They've used up one option. They're $102,000 in the hole after making $363,000. Uh, discography, Wannabe Heart debuted at 93, ended up selling 10,510 copies, charted for 52 weeks, but it has gone away. Uh, Dreamboat Annie, their first studio album, is now going to be coming out. The quality not real good but we knew that we knew that uh and then uh so that'll be dropping we'll have uh three uh three singles coming from that for some reason if we look at the album and the track list we have all 10 songs but i think what happened was you have three dreamboat annies right we have dreamboat annie dreamboat annie fantasy child and Dreamboat Annie Reprise. And those are three actual track listings on the album. It was a trilogy song, I, I suppose. Uh, I, I only remember Dreamboat Annie, but I guess there were three. Uh, but those did not show up. But the other one that didn't show up is Crazy on You. I don't know why that didn't show up, but I was unable to pull that as a single. So I was a little pissed about that, but it is what it is. So Dreamboat Annie will be coming out. Uh, and then what we've done is I have booked two shows, two shows. So the first tour is going to kick off uh, in the U.S. It'll be a U.S. tour, uh, smaller arenas, total of 7,000 people for 18 shows. Uh, and then uh, seven regions, and then we'll take a little bit of time off, and we will kick over to the UK, and we will do 6,600 seats total, 18 shows in two regions, Northern Ireland and Wales. A uh, couple of notes, uh, we did have the Hockaflot. I just completely missed that they were invited to Glitter Ball as well. Glitter Ball was uh, at the U.S. Square Arena. 18,000 people saw the band, uh, and they had a 53% performance. And then at Hocka Flot, Storm Lake Stadium, 18,295 people saw them. 53% quality of the show. So, you know, they got a little bit of exposure there. So that's what's going on with Hart. Iron Maiden, taking a look at these guys. Uh, there's your overview, B ability, and uh, popularity currently, e E's across the board, still building, still building. Uh, and, and you notice I was going to the UK with Heart. Now with Iron Maiden, well, we'll get to the album here in a minute. Quit jumping the gun, RC. All right, uh, contract. So they have uh, three options left uh, out of their five. Uh, they have made a net income of $439,000. So they'll crack the half million, hopefully the million dollar mark. I'm hoping this is the album and tour that really jump starts their full career. Um, naturally, they are not talented enough or exposed enough to really make a big jump, but uh, we'll see. So we've booked them on a world tour. Uh, we do have uh, a U.S. tour going, uh, starting off right away. And then we are going to kick off onto a world tour, uh, Canada, Europe. These are going to be smaller clubs, only 7,600 seats. Dogs. 
Hush! Except for the one that's deaf and can't hear. Fergie! Jeez. So we're doing 21,000 seats in, in America, and then we're doing 7,600 seats for the same amount of shows. Uh, I think we dropped ticket prices severely, too. Uh, we are going to put on a little bit bigger budget for production, and we are doing some actual marketing a uh, million and a half dollars, a million in the U.S. and a half a million in the U.K. Plus, we're hitting Oceana as well. So we'll see how that goes. I want to start trying to broaden their appeal. So that's the goal there. And then Motley Crue. Oh, let's take a look at Maiden uh, one more time. Uh, discography. So last album charted at number 41. Uh, sold 92,000, well, let's see, 82,000 albums, 216,000 streams. We still have uh, a few thousand uh, physical copies, and then we'll let that bleed off. Uh, so we, we're going to release three singles, 22 Acacia Avenue, The Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, and, of course, The Number of the Beast, uh, Invaders, Children of the Dam, The Prisoner, 22 Acacia Avenue, The Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, Gangland, and Hallowed Be Thy Name. Nothing quite hits 70, but everything is 66 or higher. So I'm hopeful that this gets a really good rating. Uh, so that's going to be going on. And then I'm staggering these releases instead of every four weeks. Hearts is coming out every four weeks. Uh, they're going to come out every three months. So we're going to basically keep them on the road for at least nine months again, uh, promoting the album on the road and trying to drum up, you know, a little more business around the world. And instead of doing these world tours, I think I'm going to focus uh, the at, we're going to do one world tour. And then I think I'm going to do a U.S. tour, a U.K. tour, uh, and let's see, was there another one to focus on? Mm. Let's see. So it says get them to around 20 to 25% popularity. Uh, but again, that is, you know... I mean, you know, 25% is what, going to be a D, I suppose? So we've got a little ways to go. We're on the cusp of a D, so maybe. And then Motley Crue, uh, they are just like I did with Heart. First release was not their album. Uh, so we'll take a look at their discography. Uh, the Motley EP, I, I, I just renamed two songs, Stick to Your Guns, Toast of the Town, uh, they were 50. They were the only two over 50 percent, and I do like the songs, but they're not the quality that you know the album songs were. Uh, I would love to see them redo those songs and put a better production on it, but I don't know that that'll ever happen. Uh, but anyway, that's going on there. Uh, taking a look at their shows, uh, they came up as when I was doing the. I, I actually booked them on a tour, so they've been on tour, so they ended up selling 74% of the seats, lost money, which is okay, 18 shows, we knew that was going to happen, so they were actually, come. they're coming off of their last show, wow, they didn't sell any, nobody showed up, oh my god, that's horrifying, lost 5,050 bucks on the night, uh, Wow. And then we're going to have another night on 12-11. Please. Yeah, that's tonight. So they're going to, oh, and we didn't sell it. Nobody in Georgia. All right. Well, I guess we don't go to Georgia with Motley Crue anymore. <laughs> and then, uh, but when I was doing the heart tour, uh, Motley Crue came up as, hey, we'd like to open for them. We'd like to go on tour with them. And I was like, that's cool. I can have two acts of mine building up reputation in the same area on the same bill for one cost, not a bad plan. So I went ahead and booked them on the uh, uh, the midwinter tour and they are going to be traveling around 
uh, with Hart on their tour. So we'll get to that. So let's get into it. So that's 10 minutes of catch up. So basically, here's our updated information. Everybody's released albums recently. Uh, I guess we can look at the Motley EP debuted at number 97. 119 this past week after four weeks, 3,265 digital sales, 46,000 streams. And then uh, stick to your guns. Got a C plus C plus rating. 64 sales last week or downloads, 126 total. Uh, two weeks on the uh, on the market. Toast of the Town will come out later. Uh, I think they're coming out four weeks apart. So again, this is their first EP, you know, just, hey, this is us playing in clubs and whatnot. So hopefully them, you know, heart on their second tour, their first regular tour with an album, Motley touring on their EP, and then Maiden's out on their own with, with some other bands. I would have loved to have put one of these guys with Maiden, but I should have booked Maiden's tour first and seen if they both wanted to go. Uh, that might have, a triple bill, that might have been the way to do it. Uh, one of the things that I did look at, in fact, let's see if I have gotten an answer yet. Uh, if I come over here, uh, music, Wars Empire, general discussion. Nope, nobody's responded to my post yet. Uh, the question was, if you go into your office, you can hire staff people right and then you can assign these staff people to manage one of the bands to basically be the band manager so you don't have and they take care of all the when they go in the studio but i think you lose the ability to rename the albums and the songs which is part of this let's play i want the real names and stuff just for whatever reason uh we may go a different route next time but uh, nobody's answered the question if there's a way to still edit with a staff member in control. One of the things that I had read a while back was to hire one band, assign a staff member to them, and then hire another band and you control that band. But pay attention to the calendar. You know, basically go in to, let's say if he was running Hart, you know, go into the activities and go, oh, okay, this is what he's got them recording, practicing, and basically follow that pattern with your band. Uh, and that may help you kind of learn the game. So just, uh, I read that, you know, a while back. So I don't know if that still works. Maybe it does. But anyway, uh, so everybody's on tour until March. So we're going to just kick into it and just kind of plug along a little bit uh 1214 and 1221 for maiden and heart so maiden's album's coming out this week right now i did record so i want to go in and just get a glimpse of uh motley crew commands the stage iron maiden delivers motley crew played a killer version of toast of the town always a good time with motley crew Yes, it is. Um, so let's see. Maiden profile just uh, shows. All right, we want to go back to their current. All right, so they're playing the Ditch in Maine, which is 2,000 people. Uh, only about 50% full, but then they sold out the next night and made $12,000. Oh, um, somebody, uh, Code Kid, uh, new to the channel, because I haven't seen him before, so welcome, Code Kid. Uh, he was watching the new uh, episode of Music Wars Empire that went up today. Uh, he said, good video, next video, make a music video in animation. If only I were so talented. <laughs> no chance in hell of that happening. If if, uh, if one of you guys want to put one together for me, I will certainly give you all the props and, uh, and uh, put it up. But uh, 
yeah, that's not anything I have any idea how to do. Uh, you know, if you look at my thumbnails, they're pretty freaking basic. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> not going to happen. All right. So uh, anyway, we're off to a pretty good start uh, with Maiden and Discography. Oh, we've cracked the top 40. Ooh, hello. Number 13 in the country. Number 80 in Canada, 38 in the UK, and 85 in Europe. All right. So let's go to so an A minus critical, B minus fan. It's already made $716,000. Uh, record sales, 51000 And we sold all 17. So I need to come back here and we're going to manufacture. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. You got to kind of watch these. You got to be careful. Um, but yeah, we'll continue. We'll, so we'll print that. Uh, let's see. Record sales again. So yeah, we sold out 100% and then 100% of our UK. Uh, so we sold out everything in the first week. Uh, and then there were an additional streams and downloads and everything else. So yeah, off to a really good start. Uh, brilliant record, quality record. Uh, so the good thing here is now the record is selling not just in America, but we sold in Canada, Latin America, UK, Europe, Oceania, and Asia. So we're selling everywhere. Uh, and we're charting in all of all of the major markets now. Asia's tough to crack. Oceania is, you know, I don't know if that's. Uh, so yeah, we're top thirty in uh in South Korea. Other, I don't know what that is. Top five in India. That's awesome. Oh, five sales. My bad. Uh, okay, so Asia, nothing really. No, Europe. Mostly Germany, all right, and then the UK, of course, number 38, number 80 in Canada, Latin America, Brazil, 11 people. I guess with only 11 records sold in uh, Brazil, we're not going to be able to, you know, headline uh, Rock in Rio or anything, but, uh, you know, with the, you know, what, half a million people or whatever it is, crazy shit. Uh, so, let's see, Maiden... All right, Hart, let's just check your record sales, see if we need to order you anymore. All right, you have not come out yet. Release date is this week. I guess I could have looked over here. And then, you know who else? I forgot to check Motley. I don't think I ordered any physical copies of the Motley EP. I did not. Yeah, with all you know, yeah, yeah, with only with limited sales, and this is their EP. This is where we don't want to spend a lot of money. All right, so let's do another week. And here at the beginning, I'm I definitely want to be spot checking Iron Maiden for sure, just to keep tabs on things. And this may be something. Oh God, I think I screwed up. Motley Crue selling for only a buck. There's so many buttons to click and things to change. Oh, that's, it's a giveaway, man. Just, just show up, just show up front row for only a dollar. Yay. Uh, I did offer, uh, I did approach three existing bands, two in Latin America, one in the UK. Um, actually, no, the third one is in the U S existing bands that were unsigned. None of them would talk to me. You know, we have to get our reputation up. All right, uh, so heart, profile, discography, dreamboat, record sales. All right, we've sold out, so I guess we need to go ahead and manufacture. We'll manufacture some more. Uh, probably should have done that. Oh, no, this was the first week, yeah. So, okay, so first week we sold out all of our U.S., and I think all of our UK and now now you see these numbers have bumped with the new with the second pressing. So second release. 
Uh, so that's, you know, pretty cool. So 51st on the chart, 95th, 69th in the UK. Doing all right. And then uh, how is the tour going? When does that start? January 2nd. So that is tomorrow. So we'll start seeing their tours. Uh, Maiden is on tour. Let's check them. I think that's here. Yep. So a thousand, I bet that's a sellout. It is spritzer. So back to back sellouts and I'm sure that's a sellout. So they're losing $5,100, but we're still selling out. But what that's telling us is now we know that they can sell out, uh, these thousand seaters and two thousand, so we need to up them up into the twenty-five to four thousand, maybe five thousand range to start, you know, having the ability to expand. Um, unfortunately, I believe. Oh, the next tour is the world tour, and we're in tiny, so that you know, because we have less of a reputation there, so that stands to reason. Uh, let's go another, uh, oh, did we check their record sales? I think so. I think so, but I'm not sure. Oh, wow. No, we did not. So, yeah, so we're already at 33, 33,000 out of our 40. All right, so we're going to have to go in and let's do a, another pressing of that. You don't want to go overkill, so you really want to pay attention here, but but we'll we'll do that. All right, and then we'll let's do another week. That's some really good album sales, though. Hopefully, that's making us some money. Uh, you'll notice these numbers here, and you might be going, "What the hell is that?" Uh, when when everybody came off the road after we had signed Motley, Maiden came off the road and was heading into the studio. We had $6.3 million, basically, after they all finished recording their albums and were booked on tours and everything was set here, I had 5.9, so, or 5.49, so almost a million dollars bled away in a space of a few months. All right, be there in a little while. Um, all right, so let's check the bands again all right so heart shows all right so they've opened up 300 out of 300 good sold out back-to-back -back sellouts there I mean they're not losing hardly anything which is good um, at the price that we're booked at and discography dreamboat Annie record sales all right so we're at 66 percent of our physical inventory uh 7200 so we may not have an eight yeah we've got we've got about seven thousand so we've got enough for probably one more week like this but we've dropped from 51 to 63 so we may be seeing a downward trend that's okay but next week i may have to order more so we'll check that uh, Motley, how are they doing? Let's check their shows. So they're into their they're into their second leg of the tour. Uh, Mobile Bar and Grill sold out. You know they're losing money because I forgot to change their ticket price. That's just unfortunate. Uh, we'll just call that the cost of doing business to to get them to superstardom, and that's not bad. C plus C minus ratings for for that EP. Uh, 196 sales last week, down to 129. Yeah, so you know it's it is what it is. Stick to your guns. 93 last week, uh, all downloads because we didn't release any physical copies. Toast to the town, 883 last week. So people are liking that. And every day, which was it was just a throwaway, uh, has not come up yet. And Iron Maiden, the last one we're going to check today. All right, they are tearing it up through the U.S. 
definitely ready to move up to the next level i think and uh, discography all right 22 acacia avenue again all physical all, all digital downloads so 1645 4359 this was all with word of mouth on the singles. We did remember do production and some advertising, a million and a half dollars. So, but we've already made two million in revenue on this tour. This is on this album. This is great. 22,000 last week. That means we are not gonna have enough. We're still number 33 in the States. A million streams so we've hit we've hit gold on on streams that's pretty awesome I think I'm gonna manufacture I'm not gonna manufacture any for the rest of the world I think we've still got enough uh, let's order yeah we'll We'll do 22,000 for uh, the US. That may be enough to actually get us through. Maybe, I don't know if they keep selling, um, maybe not. All right, one last week because I just got to see what they're going to do. And then it'll be time for a cut. Uh, come on. Yeah, still a dollar. Maiden brings down the house in Florida. Heart stuns with high energy performance. There we go. Good to see some positive reviews. All right, let's jump in here again. Heart profile shows. I'm not so worried about the shows until the tour's over. I mean, it's, you know, because then you can really judge. You know, looks, yeah, so they're still selling out. So that's good. Discography, Dreamboat Annie, number 80. Number 69 this week in the U.S., uh, 4,809. So I think we're going to need to manufacture a few more here. Let's check out the rest. They're at 18. The U.K. is selling 174. So they've got enough for four or five more weeks. Oceana, 22 a week. They've got enough for... Two or three more weeks. So yeah, only the U.S. And if we sell 45, yeah, let's go ahead and manufacture. So you don't have to manufacture for each region if you don't want to. All right, 8,000, that'll up that. So that's up to 21,000. I like that. Maiden. Maiden's the one I really want to check. Come on. Show me the money. 16,000 this week. Still number 41. I mean, that's a that's a drop, but you know, still top all, basically top 40 after 4 weeks. 123,000. 1 and a quarter million streams. 62 percent 16 that's 68 so i've got enough for two more weeks at that rate we're good here good here good here everybody else is good we're probably gonna end up with a lot of extra stock down here but the u.s that's our core area but that's okay we're gaining let's take a quick look uh Let's take a look at heart. All right, so we're E. We're already E minus in the UK. That's good. All right, Motley's been out on tour, E minus. They have not gone on tour with heart yet. And Maiden is now a D minus in the States and E minus in the UK. So that's good. So we are starting to see we're in that, you know, if you figure an A to F, A, B, C, D, E, F, six, that's what? 16 roughly about 16 percent per level so you want to be into the d the d range so we're probably at about you know you know we need to get a little higher to get that 25 percent to really start a jump at the next level 
but we've got enough albums to sell so we don't need to order any more that's not what I wanted there we go yeah but still I mean 52,000 you know 123,000 physical and digital sales that's great and then 1.3 million streams you know we're doing well uh, if we look at the band so the albums made almost two and a half million uh, in revenue not profit but revenue uh, let's look at uh, profile awards Oh, I didn't even notice that they were they were nominated breakout act at English Choice Awards in their first year. Cool. Uh, and we didn't even tour the UK. Oh well. Uh, let's see what else. I didn't even know they had that. Where was that at again? Awards popularity and relationships. I don't know who any of those guys are. Oh, that's with this band. Yeah, okay. That's that's complicated. <laughs> um, so where are we at? We're January 15th. Motley has released their second single a couple of weeks ago, almost a month ago. Maiden will be coming out with theirs in a couple of weeks and Hart will be coming out with their second single in a week's time. Uh, we still have a, a touring to go. I don't have, have they finished their tour? They have not. Okay, so they go until January 27th. Maiden goes until They've got two shows left. That does not look like it was a good show. We had one sellout and one dud. And then we finish up in California for our U.S. leg. And then we'll start our world tour in the small clubs up in Canada and then over to Europe. That'll start January 30th. So that's about two weeks out. So they're still going. And then Motley... Now, see, I don't know how to tell. I can go look. I wonder if Motley's doing multiple shows per night. <laughs> uh, so let's see. They're doing. There's. I mean, they're still at fifty nine percent quality. That's huge. I mean, they actually went up. That's outrageous. Well, I guess if you played in front of nobody, it would be hard to get the adrenaline. And then, you know, a, a sold-out crowd. All right, so they're two shows away. No, they're done. That le that tour's done. They were 74%. Oh, you know what? That was their, that was their EP. Two. That was, yeah. Okay, so this one started the 23rd. We've got two shows left there. They finish up here in a couple of days. And then, let's go look at Heart again. Because what I want to find out. All right, let's look at this one, Riverside Park. Motley Crue did play for them. So their ability is 62, but they only got a 33% review. <clears throat> the reviews for the show were good, but Motley Crue didn't get a very good one, which is okay. Um, so Motley Crue is opening on these nights. I don't know if that's staggered somehow, so that's cool. So Motley's playing a lot. <laughs> and we are up to 5.8 million. So we've made about $400,000, $350,000 roughly uh, since the album's all released at the end of October, uh, December, I mean. So in about a month's time with the touring and album sales, we're doing all right. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to cut it there. Pound the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, sorry for no uh, self-animated videos. Not my skill, man. Uh, <laughs> it took me a long time to even figure out how to render a video, let alone do uh, graphical animation and stuff. Uh, no clue. 
So, but we'll see you next time. I'll keep playing if you guys are interested. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think because that's the only way I know if you want to see more. Take care. Bye.